last time we met, we were talking about how some people were saying Vegas might be the new Ibiza in terms of dance music. Um, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that? Ibiza is such a small island and there's so many big clubs there. And uh, uh, same thing goes for Vegas, it's this condensed area where there's a lot of nightlife going on. But other than that, I, I think it doesn't really do it justice. You know, Ibiza is Ibiza, it has its own culture, its own sound, and Vegas has a different sound, it's a different feeling. I just want to stress that the Vegas scene right now is really amazing and same thing goes for Ibiza. So let's talk about the Vegas scene a little bit and how it, essentially this, this town has transformed for something like EDC. What can you say about that and how it represents that shift in, in American culture? I think there's a whole young generation now growing up listening to EDM, so it's a new phenomenon and I think a lot of the casino owners have started to focus on EDM. They see that it's paying off for them, they have full venues. Uh, people coming to Vegas, especially for an artist, uh, a DJ. It's definitely a new thing compared to like 10 years ago. I remember playing here five years ago uh, at ICE. And right. It was still a fairly new thing. And now, <laughs> you know, you have residencies where DJs play 20 times or 30 times a year. Um, so, you know, it definitely says something about the boom of EDM. A lot has been said about it, it going corporate. I mean, Live Nation announced that it was purchasing Insomniac. You said it was inevitable when we spoke last time. Is, you still believe that? Unfortunately, like it or not, it's the way that the world works. As soon as something gets big, uh, more money gets involved, so automatically the, the, the shift changes. But I think it's important to stress that we should never forget the first hour fans and the people that were into EDM way before it got popular. I don't know if I'm necessarily too happy about the fact that it's all becoming very commercial. I mean, right. it is opening a lot of doors, let's, let's put it that way. I mean, when you have a main stage where the more uh, big names are playing, it also means you have smaller stages where new talent can flourish. So right. for EDM in general, I think it's a good thing. I'm really curious to see if this is a bubble that's going to burst or if it's going to stay around, if it's still going to be as strong in five or ten years from now. A lot of it really depends on if daytime radio will keep supporting EDM um, and if there is new, enough new talent to come up and if the, the young people are not getting bored of EDM. Are you concerned with it going more corporate that um, some of the culture may get lost. I feel for some people that they sort of miss that intimate feeling that the EDM scene had when it was a lot smaller and I can relate to that. Right. Uh, same thing as I miss playing with vinyl, you know, sometimes. But music moves forward and, and um, uh, yeah, sometimes I'm a little bit nostalgic as well. And, you know, I make a big thing out of still going to clubs to play there because I feel that that's where this music belongs still. It's not only for main stages. Um, but having said that, what I like about my job is that the one day I'm playing on a main stage somewhere, one hour, uh, you know, banging out all the hits. It's like going to McDonald's, right? Or to Burger King, having a quick meal. But, you know, to be honest, Christmas dinner is so much more fun. Um, when you have a, a long dinner with your, with your friends and family, it's like a long DJ set. You know, when you play a three hour set, you can really take people on a journey and, mm -hmm. and go from there. It's not like I sit in the studio every day going, like, okay, so. How can I make more money or how can I become more famous? It's just like you make a track in the studio, you vibe away and it's, it gets success or not, you know? It's, uh, and yes, it's great that so many people want to hear your music. It's absolutely fantastic, but that's not the first thing that goes through your mind when you're creating tracks.